U.S. Canada, ally. Nobody expects to oh, see this Oh, I keep this forgetting guy. about that. No U.S., dude. <laughs> I keep forgetting that he's, like, from Canada. Dude. Yeah, it's crazy. You, you try to claim him? No, uh. <laughs> we don't claim him, dude. He's Canada. I love ally. In any event, T, 18th seed. Shuton, really? 11th seed. He was 18th yes, seed? Yes, he was 18th seed. Oh, my. Shuton was 11th seed? And Shuton was... Shuton Wait, Ally was 20th seed. And Ally was 20th with Zachary 9. But here's a crazy thing, Kataro. <clears throat> I'm going to be, this might be a hot take. I think that if Myron did not stop Shuton on his path to, like, the top, to, like, you know, the, oh, on I his path the to the grand thing, finals, I thought if the Shuton thing. did not get stopped by Myron, Shuton could have taken a whole frostbite. At frostbite, yes. The nope. other thing about it, too, is that people might not agree with Myron me because of the fact Shuton that. Myron winners. Yeah. That's wild. It's wild. I, I know some of y'all might not agree. It's a hot take, right? And because it's a hot take, I might be blatantly wrong. But Shuton is so nasty with it, man. He's such a great player. He's still out here looking very strong. We've been talking about Zachary this, Zachary that, as far as the strong Japanese representatives are concerned because he's the clear-cut best. But let's not forget about the other compatriots, you know, Honestly, coming through from Japan. Honestly, I don't know about Japan. that anymore. No, because T's great at what he does. Pac-Man is looking scary. Just I've seen the jacket fire. I mean, you've seen Nairo play Pac-Man without even using items, just fair chaining people into the blast zone, and just watching the way Shuton plays with Olimar, a character that we've seen the likes of even paired in. You know, talking about that, you know, this character Olimar is just so good. I wonder what will happen if we actually get a buff to his chart smashes. Right? Yeah. But if you see a buff to his charge smashes, can we at least get like up smash not hitting from behind? Like No, we do not I... need Pac-Man being buffed. No, no, I'm talking about I'm talking about Olimar. Oh Olimar. Olimar's up smash. Can yeah, it just honestly, only hit from the front? Not, not, not the back? I, I, Olimar has a lot of problems, dude. Olimar needs a buff, man. I want to see more Olimar. Can I get water? I heard that. And Olimar, maybe a new commentator? <laughs> I heard Olimar. <laughs> I heard Olimar is actually one of the favorites. But let's see what happens. Remember he does have a Richter, just in case Olimar doesn't work out. I want to see. How all right. this matchup will work. All right, all right, here we go. In any event, guys, we're going to get straight into this match. Hate it or love it, Olimar and Pac-Man is happening right here, right now, on the winner's side of top eight. Winner's semifinals here. And T, I have to say, man, his combo's right there into the apple. Man, the Pac-Man lovers, oh the beautiful future right now for the Pac-Man players, man. I'm he actually curious on how he's going to try to edge guard shoots on. He's doing I mean, really well so far. You could see right now, when it comes to at least, like, <laughs> yo, the pressure? Yo, I've never seen such an aggressive Pac-Man. He ran right behind him to the point where he couldn't even run anymore because he's running right into all It's a little scary trying to recover against Pac-Man, knowing that he could just drop a Hydrant on you if you try to recover super low, you know? Yeah, sometimes you cannot be able to recover uh, directly vertical Yo. under. But my gosh, he knew he was going to go there. The fact that there's no shield dropping in this game, he was like, who cares? I'm going to shark the way I want, I'm, right? I'm going to up smash, and then once he runs off, I'm going to forward smash. You can't shield drop. It, it almost looks like... You have to parry. Yeah, that's true. But it almost looks like T is right now in Shuton's head. He's it's only game destroyed. one. <laughs> only game one, but yeah. it's been a minute. He's put like over 150 damage already on him, taking off a sock too. Look like at that. Like he knows exactly touches. where he's going to land. And right now he's about to overlap him, dude. Look at the percents. Right now we got the key. Oh, man. He immediately throw it? I think that was a good choice, too, because he did know that he was most likely going to hit the Hydrant, and you saw that right there. He actually had the read right there, yeah. but he mistimed it. And the back air, back air again, Nairo style. He was way too confident to be able to go for that grab. And he has to be able to watch out for Blue Pikmin. Blue Pikmin might, might be coming out really soon, coming yeah. out from shoot on to get that up throw KO. Here's the thing about T. Stock lead, right? Not the worst what? thing in the world, and he keeps it going. Three stocks right now, 128%. Catches the Galaga. No fear in the world. And let's see a little oh combo. I mean, he got 21. That's not bad. Right. There's a blue Pikmin up throw that we were waiting for. Mm -hmm. But how does he keep getting these F smash hits? Not only did he get the last two KOs with the F smash, but he keeps getting F smash to hit just in general. Every single time. Yeah, it's not really the type of attack where you can combo into. It's just something that you throw out if you got a good read. Yo, that movement, oh though. God. I'm sorry. You can't do that in Smash 4. Anyway, so let's keep it going. Okay, okay. 67% just off that. Okay. I'm waiting for that Hydra. There goes Hydra. Yep, there it is. It's out. And he tried to damage it a little bit to see if he could send it. Interesting. He actually threw the item that way. Oh, oh my god! Okay, 97% on shoots on. Two shoots on can land. Oh, what type of grab was that? What? Is that some ice climber glitch? Thank you. I'm telling you right now, the movement that we're seeing from this guy. We kept talking about how, like, inkling smooth, but yo. <laughs> 
Pac-Man. 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 <laughs> Did you see that? He actually threw the bell yeah. behind him on purpose and tried to f tilt kick him into the bell he to make him get stunned. <laughs> Fantastic by him right there. So smart right there. Be the key going right through. And Shuton, yes, he was able to take away that stock, but it's 113% on, currently on Shuton. It's a little bit of a tough situation. And a little bit of a charge. All right, and I like the choice for going for the key. Sometimes Pac-Man just likes to hang out on the ground and taking out Pikmin. Uh-oh, got to watch out for that there. Put out the grab, and I think that was a smart situation. Let me explain why. If the hydrant was still out, the water would have pushed him off while the grab was still out, you know? Mm -hmm. But the hydrant was gone, so. All right, this is looking a lot more like the shoot time I was expecting. All right, has the apple. Apple can be able to yeah, KO. Apple oh has a lot gosh. of good knockback, yes, sir. And we're going for the big stuff here. The key is out. All right, it looks like he's probably just going to throw it randomly. Oh, at there. Tech chase. Oh, oh, oh. oh he's trying to sneak in. No shield. Oh, that shield is so bad. Okay, good. The purple actually got rid of the threat of a back air because T was about to lay on top of him with a back air to get rid of that stock. Wow. It would have been like a shield that. snap. I like that. He actually threw the bell off the stage this time around instead of trying to throw it at the ledge for yeah. an edge strap. Okay, we got a bit of a charge. Oh, my goodness. Okay, and key back. Key! There's the there key it is. to get the KO. Good stuff from T. He's focusing on getting the key, especially whenever he's hiding behind Hydrant. He's like, I'm just going to get the key, hit yes, the Hydrant, and throw the key straight at you. Or I'll just throw the uh, key, and the Hydrant will go over my head. One thing that T is doing that a lot of people might not notice is that he stands a certain distance away from the Hydrant that if he hit it with a hard attack, the Hydrant goes over his head. Yeah. And he can keep charging his attack, too. So it doesn't so matter. Smart. Very smart. So smart. And again, guys, we have waiting after this particular match. Just in, guys, in case you guys are now joining us, Zachary and Ally will be battling in the winner's semifinals. And the matches that just transpired were Tweet versus Nairo, with Nairo getting the W over Tweet, and Light versus MKLeo, with Light getting the W. So, let's see what's going to transpire after this. This is just the first game here of the winner's semifinals at Prime Saga. Kind of scary, though, because T had, like, such a huge lead, mm -hmm. and then Shootown was able to bring it back to the point that it was last hit. So it makes it seem like maybe Shootown was, like, a little flustered in the beginning. It was like, okay, I got it now. I know these Pikmin. I'm going to get these combos. But then again, the combos that Shutam were getting was because T started to approach a little bit harder at the end. Yeah. Maybe seemed a little too confident. Nice sneaky grab right there. Very aggressive with the way that he's just approaching Olimar. Understands that when it comes to Olimar, right? He's a character that has a lot of great projectiles with the Pikmin. But if you do not have the purple in hand, you don't quite have to worry about Olimar tossing a Pikmin at you with his side B because there's not going to be hit stun. So yeah. you could actually punish the toss, which is a thing that a lot of people don't understand. You could actually rush him down if oh you pace yourself. He upbeat out of the double jab yes, into sir. grab. That combo that worked earlier against Light where he did double jab, double jab into uh, grab. I know it was low percent, but shocking to see Pac-Man be able to get out of it so easily with the upbeat. Yeah, man. Here we go. Okay, there's a charge. But the White, White does so much damage, but he not having to worry about that. Immediately kills the white. <laughs> that didn't sound proper. Sorry, guys. All right. He's not going for the F-Smash as much as he used to before. But that time around, he used the Hydrant to try to approach the F-Smash. So Hydrant, key. Ooh. Yep, good choice. But Olimar, Shuton, able to actually knock the Hydrant back before even being able to throw the key. Oh, wait. That's back air. He has to go for the back air. Makes sense. That's the thing about Pac-Man. Whenever you're, like, that high in the air, you know that he most likely cannot get the KO. It's usually when they're on the ground. And T, again, somehow sniping him out with all these F-Smashes. Okay, here's the Galaga. Coming through. He, com <laughs> he comboed it. What the hell? Comboed it with a get up attack? Yeah, from the edge, too. <laughs> hey, we can't. Hey. Yeah. All right. I, I thought we were going to keep seeing him go for the jabs, too. Oh, man. They, they ain't going to play around. Oh, I, I wanted to see a spike right there. Even though I want both players to win. Yeah, Olimar's downer. Not, not actually that easy to spike. A uh, little hard to get the mm. sweet spot of the spike. Oh, interesting. I didn't know you played Olimar. No, I don't. All right, I, here I, we go, guys. At the Olimar? second game at the Prime heck? Saga, winner semifinals. And T, again, <laughs> going really aggressive right now. Not yeah, no shield. Hydrant. Watch his shield, though. Okay, he wants... So the purple could get the KO throw for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No blue Pikmin out right now. Just looking really hard for possibly F smash. And there goes back air. Fantastic aerial. Yep. Very strong. And that's a melon? What is that? I, I don't eat fruits. <laughs> You know, I, I don't. <laughs> really? I don't even know what a strawberry I'm telling like. your mom. <laughs> I don't tell her. She knows actually. Already. Dang it. Here Vegetables? We <laughs> no, we, not, not, not. All right, how, do, how are you alive? I don't know, dude. I, I, <laughs> do you? All right. I used to Dragon Ball to turn myself back. Like, here we go. <laughs> are those real? Yes. Back here to we the go. match. Galaga. Fantastic combos coming out. Oh, my gosh. Oh, up smash right there. Great combo starter. Amazing punisher. Very tough to uh, punish as well. 
Okay, trying to do the falling up air to try to knock him into the air. Hydrant again, not trying to go for the key. Okay, there. But I like how you use the platform to be able to throw that apple. Oh my gosh. So much shield pressure. Yeah. Landing right behind, but you see Shutan keeps repositioning himself. He doesn't want to damage the Hydrant either. Ignoring it, trying to get around. Oh Has my god. for the bell. <laughs> he threw the bell and then tried to get an F smash sneak in using the Hydrant water. Okay, Bell again. Yep, we have the win oh, box. No. Oh, you have to watch out, man. You can see Sh Shutan right now just wants to see if he can take this stock first. One of the Pikmin actually got caught by the Bell. I feel that's a purposeful, tricky thing that he does. Yeah. He takes out the Bell, and he makes it look like he almost kept the Bell, but instead he got the key at the last moment and then put it away. Put it so away, think, so you right, can't see it. he has the Bell, it. and then boom, the key gets thrown out. I, I agree. All right, Hydrant. He no. probably waits for an audio cue to allow him to know that it's time for the key to, you know. Or it's oh just time. Oh, my God. The edge guarding right now there coming out from T. Fantastic. Pac-Man definitely a little bit more of an aggressive character in this game than the last. Oh, yeah. I love it. Galaga, it's time. Take to the skies. And uh, missed its mark, but we're going to keep it going. You see that trampoline right there. Kind of makes it a little difficult, but you see, as Shuton keeps throwing the Pikmin on it, it actually gets rid. Galaga again. Uh, yep. Catch it again. He catches it. Another, Another catch. catch. Okay. Oh, uh oh he's getting caught right here. Monique yeah. is out. You can't play around with it too much, especially when you're dealing with Olimar. You could just throw Pikmin past the Galaga mm -hmm. while you're trying to run up past behind it. Okay, here we have some aggressive T right here. He has, <laughs> that, to be honest, having the Hydra helped him out so much. He's able to get a free charge <laughs> while having a Hydra shield. Again, that's so beautiful how he knows that the Hydra is going to go over him. He doesn't even flinch. He literally lets the Hydra hit. It's like, again, he lets the Hydra just hit his fruit. By the way, here's an apple. Apple's pretty good. Has diagonal. Wait. Oh, there hey. oh, 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 oh. I like that down air. He was able to get a shield stab. Oh, Keep it going. Gonna go off. Let's see. Go off. Okay, he, he knows, threw it he too knows. soon. Ooh. Wait, Shutan is still alive, though. Back and air? Back air? Okay. Oh, he missed it. Beautiful high recovery right there. Going for the F smash hard read. However, oh, throw. Yes. you do not want to fight against Olimar when Olimar has rage and purple Pikmin's out. Not even taking out another Pikmin, just going straight for the purple. Oh, my, oh God. my God. How did he know that he was going to press forward there? That Something. is amazing. He just knows. It's he like he knows, knows exactly where Olimar is going to land and he keeps getting those F smash KOs. Because you have to understand, you know, as a, a when you're on the big stage like that as a top player, you understand that there's risk with using some of these moves that have a lot of cool, uh, a lot of cooldown, right? Mm -hmm. A forward smash. When you use a forward smash, you're being deliberate. You understand that you're using this because of the fact that you understand it's going to find its mark. T right there knew. That Shuton was going to be in range with him trying to aggressively get inside of his range right there in front of him and just put out the forward smash at the right time. It was so smart. And I have to say, man, like, I don't think we sing T's praises enough. He's had some impressive wins. If you remember, even looking at Frostbite, the, the list of the people that have fallen to him and going into this event right here, it can be tough. Like, coming from another country, being in another time zone where your sleep gets... I was about to say the wrong word. <laughs> Fricked up. Um, you know, it, it can be tough, but he's doing his thing here. Yeah, he's doing really Too well. Too low right now. Too Good low job. Right now. Remember, he was the one that took out Sweet in the winner side of the bracket, I believe, 3 1. And he's got another really good player. How is he able to rock a Pico in this weather? We're in SoCal, T. This is Southern California. We're not in Ohio. <laughs> Wait, hold up. <laughs> What's up? That, that was big brain times 50. It was. Talk he, to let, him. He, got, he got the grab. He let the Hydrant push him, so he's towards the platform. Did the up throw, and then was able to do like an up air or something. Follow up by landing on the platform and continue the combo that was whoa but we have away. an even bigger brain coming out from Shutan pressing the c-stick right to throw the Pikmin to get the KO below yes, 100% so strong Shutan right now trying to see if he can just maintain this lead 63% not too bad but the way that we've seen Shutan just keep on rushing down his opponent it's not easy dude not easy I like I love the down airs to get the shield stab setups he uses them off stage as well to make it difficult for Shutan multiple hitboxes every single time pestering Shutan. Oh what happened there? Dude, Shutan on the verge of losing the stock right here. Let's see the setup. Ooh, ooh, okay. Shutan? All right, Shutan using the hydrant water. Good choice by him. Right right now, T only 37%. A little shocked to see that that little. And the DI. Okay. Yes, staying alive. And of course, you know, back air. Not as strong as what? other back airs in the game. Yo, the DI again. I was going to say that's really strong, but this is already 150 something percent. <laughs> yeah, I mean. But he's likely going to keep going for the down airs near the ledge because he knows that the down air at this percent can get the KO, especially with the rage that we now have on T. T is trying to see if he can set some stuff up, but he's literally getting like C blocked by a Pikmin <laughs> every single time. He's at the bar, he's like, yo, what up, Olimar? <laughs> and then the Pikmin just comes through, like, don't talk to her! <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs>
<laughs> Alright, well, let's see if she saw. We'll go off the Wait. stage. Try to get the KO. Okay, that was a fantastic way to try to get back on the stage. Oh my gosh. One more, one more. Okay, up throw. Back throw instead back throw. to be able to get the KO. Yep. But 104%, he's going to need to use that Galaga to get some early percent combos. Let's see what he could do. Galaga to get up attack again, like we're used to seeing. Beautiful toss right there. Get up attack. Oh no, he did not even get up attack. Getting that. I think that was an F smash coming out from all of You saw the range he was at too. He was covering the roll, covered normal get up, and what could potentially get the jump. Nice T. He's still cooking, oh, but the up smash on Oh my god. So beautiful. <laughs> what happened? All right, I'm going to say another word. I said beautiful too much. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that like, was wild. Yeah. He had the momentum going 100% there. Somehow, it didn't even look like a parry, but he just got the punish and did like 50, 60% mm -hmm. shoot on. Actually right. gets a trade here, but T, 86% uh, now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Back, Back throw. Stage. Let's see if we can get those. All right, there's that S smash that keeps supporting. I like that up here. That was safe. I thought we were going to see him go all in with the back air instead. The apple drop so weird. Oh, oh my gosh. And it got some good damage, too, on the Hydra. Yeah. All right, looking for that down air. Should not be able to KO from the center stage, mm -hmm. but at least regain stage control, or maybe he's looking for something like that. Oh, my God. Nice. And Shuton, he gets one on the board right here. It was a little bit tough. T was able to get the first two games, but with some really solid, just solid overall gameplay, you saw Shuton get the lead very early, and he sat on it. And it looks like, honestly, I feel like that's one of Shuton's strengths, you know, as a player. In the stands, when he gets the lead, how to be able to just sit on it. And Olimar is able to do that, because a lot of times players, if they are behind, they have to, they have to approach, right? They can't hey, sit on, back. Let me, let me get a pause real quick. What's up, man? Tweet got seven and Leo got seven. What okay, heck? welcome to the past. Can we go back to the future? <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> that is wild. It is. But speaking of the future, we have Pokemon Stadium 2, not okay. number one. You like that, right? We have Pokemon Stadium number two coming out here. <laughs> and here comes the Galaga combos we're looking for before. Wow, 42% just from that one Galaga. One of my favorite songs in this uh, stage. You too? Um... All right. All right, so here we go. <laughs> <laughs> and that down air, I like that. Falling down into neutral air, having barely any lag, being able to follow up with another aerial. But Shutan knows this, so he just stayed walking. And it's very unlikely that Pac-Man will try to go for a grab. Considering how Pac-Man's grab, even though it's buffed from Smash 4, it's not that great. It, you know, it takes a while to come out. It's kind of like a tether grab. Yeah. So you don't want to use abuse it too much. It's harder to do so. All right, there's the bell. I love seeing the mix-ups of how he uses the bell. Sometimes you use it where it falls off the stage. Yep. Sometimes it lands right at the ledge. Sometimes he puts it where it's like if you decide to roll on, you'll get hit. So he mixes it up quite a bit. And even if you want to go out for the platform too, it's scary. But here it is. Gets the charge. I think that yeah, I think he has a key. Yeah, he has a key. For sure. He charged for a little bit. And now we have two purples on the field. Yeah, two purples and a blue. <laughs> a late game Olimar, you usually need two purples and a blue. You're very smart. All right. You get your throw combos. I mean, you oh throw KOs. Oh my gosh, that Melon actually almost got the KO there. Wow. He took that back air? No, he decides to go for a late neutral air. And he decided to actually expend that blue, but another one comes back. Okay, liking that again. He's really good at dodging the Hydra and being hit. And there it doesn't it really affect Shutan by trying to hit the Hydra because it's a hitbox that, you know, it's all, it's all of our pick. Oh Yo, so quick with it, too. The snipe. Catch one of these, man. You already know. I go. heard you have a catch one of these shirts. No, I don't. Here we go. Oh, look wide. at all that shield pressure right now coming out on shoots on shoots on not being able to stay on the stage. Oh, unfortunate. Hydrant's back out again. Ledge trap setups. Okay, he had to go for the well time get up attack too. Looking like Akuma with that apple. Yo, that <laughs> shield damage and he's still keeping it going. Uh oh, we're not done yet. Has Pikmin on him though. Mm -hmm. Wow, he's being so aggressive for Pac-Man. Just look at the fact that he has Olimar. Olimar cornered to the ledge and he did not have a hydrant or any of the fruit out. Okay. I don't even think that would have KO'd because he would have landed on the up again and been able to recover. But still crazy for him to try to go for that up. Oh my god! What? That okay. was a charge. That should be a death. Yeah. There it is. That was a charge F smash on shield. Mm -hmm. And then he threw a purple. It was from a purple Pikmin. And then another purple Pikmin hitting him on the shield. So I I, I guess I, I understand. That's just, I'm really shocked that like broke shield. Yeah, the purple Pikmin does such amazing shield damage, of course. And the damage, I mean, look how... Right there, Shutan's able to just maintain the lead in such a stellar fashion right there. Uh-oh. Okay, he goes high up, up above the ledge. A little scary. Good choice. Mm-hmm. Damage the Hydra a little bit, too. Oh, oh smash! Oh. Ah, just a hair off. 
It almost looked scary. like he didn't believe that the bell would hit, but it hit last minute. The shoot sound, I don't know, maybe he wasn't expecting it to stop there on top of the platform. Yeah. But, or it would disappear already, so that's why he tried to jump up. And. Okay, the active hitbox right there with the dash attack, just catching shoots on off guard. And it's key time. Yep, key time. Mm -hmm. A little bit of damage. Is it going to jab it? Oh, it's smart by Suton. I like oh, it. Oh, the snipe? No. Too, Down too low. Stage? Yep. He's going to go for it. Tried to go for a rising one, too, with the double jump, but it didn't work out. Yeah, I don't blame him, especially with all this rage. That downer, especially near the ledge, should be able to get that KO. Mm -hmm. Or even an apple. So you might just keep going for apples. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. And it works out well because you jump up in the air, and then you have a diagonal, you know, diagonal like trajectory with that toss when you have the apple in hand. But now, he's going for the Galaga. Going to recatch. 0% here. Beautiful. Two he gets the two frame again. That down every single time. Really good at getting that two frame, and I like the fact that he didn't just roll away after getting hit by that. It's hard though uh -oh. because no, no, no. Up throw. Yep. Very, very, very clutch stuff right there. And shoots on. Gets it over T. You have to be careful of using tether grabs or grabs that have a lot of lag or moves in general that have a lot of lag. Whenever Olimar has the blue Pikmin out, and you're at like 110, 115, basically up throw percent for the blue Pikmin. So good stuff by Shoots on for just playing patient and being able to get that throw. Mm -hmm. However, remember T was up 2-0 and now just lost the last two games. I felt like after the first game, Shoots on was starting to adapt, but it might have just been after the second game where you truly started to say, "Okay, I got this. This is no problem at all," and get that last game win like, uh -oh. pretty strongly. I hope T isn't falling asleep right now. Again, you talk Wait, about what? you know just like jet lag, right? I don't think he's entirely jet lag, but it could be a thing. It's tough to be able to just fly back and forth when it comes to like just all these things in Japan. If I could do it, they could do it. I'm not even from there. All right, so here we go. Or am I? It's <laughs> all. Why did you? Are you an anime character? And the Galaga is thrown already right now. <laughs> 20, 31. Per oh my goodness! Olimar does damage so fast. He does. I mean, we've seen some cool co damaging combos too. <laughs> oh, he he jabbed it. He tried Guys, to end him. He jabbed. The forward smash. He was barely able to get past that. That was OD. <laughs> if he had gotten that charge F smash, that definitely would have been a KO, even at like 70%. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Katar. I was actually talking to Nairo about the jab. But we're back. All right. Can he land? All right now, it's looking really tough for T. Not seeming to be able to put on the damage that he was before. And now he's getting cornered a bit more often than you would expect. And these Galaga combos are just not coming out. Look at him jabbing the wrong way. That's it. Fortune. 29% right now in shoot zone. He, yeah, that was so smart. He actually made it look like he was intending to actually commit to something, then just like jumped away, got the quick run back air, and it was a, with a purple too, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. So that's going to take the stock again. Purples, you have to watch out, dude. Such a threat up close from afar. You have to, you have to throw Olimar off stage mm -hmm. to force him into a situation where he has to get rid of them because they're so heavy, right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Right now, Shiton still having a little bit of, um, or T no, having T. a little a bit of trouble. Yeah, but he, you see he's trying to capitalize on situations where Olimar should get tossed off stage, or knocked off stage, rather, you know, to make it easier for him to deal with the Pikmin. Right now, we have a purple and a blue, the scariest ones that are there, again, especially at late game. Back out of shield here, trying to see if he can get the KO. Good job on the blue, but the purple is still hanging as it's way more durable. But yes. here's the chase. But Shuton actually doing a lot of high recoveries now. Yes, he is. To get away from the fact that before T was just getting those F smashes near the ledge to get those KOs. So I've pretty much seen like the last two or three times high recovery and a nice mix up by Shuton actually. Just decided to get up attack this time around. Okay, here we go. Hydrant's out. Gonna give him an opportunity to have a shield away from the Pikmin. But the blue, okay, My there it gosh. is. Still pressing his advantage right there. Red, right. blue, purple in the building. <laughs> Shio. He went for he went for a short hop down air off the stage and then went for just drop zone down air to try to get that KO. Good mix up on some shoots on Yo, side What B. am I telling you, man? The knockback from the Monique right there, just getting the KO. And now I'm sorry, man. Fans of T, please use your bless RNGs. You're gonna need it. It's a tough situation right now. Again, what did I say? Shoots on if he gets the lead. He's going to sit on it. Yeah, he's really good at getting Y'all have lead. to pray for your boy. Especially against Pac-Man, really good at getting the lead and being able to keep it. Right now, that Hydrant, again, is not proven to be too useful. It's usually kind of good at stopping a Pikmin from hitting you because you can, like, just put the Hydrant down and yep. the Pikmin are thrown and he just stays behind it. Uh-oh. It's looking so tough right here. I mean, he can definitely do it, but he has to play at a level beyond, dude. Yeah, we're not seeing these F-Smashes come out before. Like, I feel like we did see the F-Smashes, but they connected. Yeah. Perfectly. Perfectly. When, uh, yeah. Like, not as much as we see now. Now he's using so many more that are missing its mark. Beautiful. The water helped him out with that one there. And now, 85%. Again, it's looking rather grim. Gets it down there, and he fade back just to make it as unpunishable as possible. 
The purple is still out here. He yep. wants to play, but can he get a chance? Right now, 91% already on C is going to be really tough, especially with the rage that we have now on Olimar. It's yeah, going to make it even easier to get the KO. Olimar right now looking like Mean Girls, dude. They got a squad. They're like, you can't hang with us, dog. You can't sit at this table. I still get so shocked to see him be risky enough to do a grab yep. whenever he's at this percent where his perfect percent of KO. Oh, that setup. He's done he that done before. before. Yes, the and first it worked game. again. <laughs> first game, up smash onto the platform and then F smashing thing he's going to land right next to him. What I tell y'all guys, y'all got to pray. Pray for T in ultimate, man. Let's see. Will he be able to do it? He gets the grab. Oh. It's time to cook. We need EE -E right now to commentate the stream. Uh -oh. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> Can he do it? But Blue Pikmin, what in the world? Blue Pikmin is out. Keep that in mind. So one up throw will be able to end it. And I feel like he might be looking for this grab really soon. Yo. Especially after T does something. Oh! Instead, run away F smash. That's it. On. He tried. He tried so hard, man. A lot of game fives happening at this tournament. I thought a, that was zero. A lot of game five situations indeed. Great job by T. Making it so far here. But it's not going to be the end of his run. He got sent into the loser's bracket. So he'll still get